Hello, and welcome to another ASMR Reiki session. I'm Jordana, I'm a Reiki master and energy healer, and today is going to be a really, really neat session. We're going to be focusing on spring cleaning and new growth, stepping into who do we want to be after we have sift through and let any old stories, old beliefs, old identities fall off. So, feel free to get comfy if you're able, and of course, as always, Reiki is a form of energy healing that involves consent, so if you're just watching this with the intention of just listening to my voice and just being soothed, listening to the ASMR, and you're not into the energy work component, then that's totally fine because it always involves consent. So, with that being said, we'll start off by right away setting an intention, lighting a candle. I'm going to try to light it back. You know what? This happened last time with this box. I think it might be the trackpad. <gasps> no, we got so close. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to cut that down because no one's perfect. <laughs> okay. Wow, that was a journey, but I'm so proud of myself. And I hope you're proud of me too. <laughs> oh, I just love this yellow candle. It's matte. Look at the texture of it. It's so pretty. I'm going to do my nails now. Okay. So I'd like to invite you to just gaze at the flame as we set our intention for this session. <sighs> okay. So the intention I'd like to set on behalf of the highest and greatest good and loving comfort and benevolent energies only, it is my intention to transcend beyond time and space so that this energy healing may reach you, of course, in accordance with your highest selves and needs, with the intention clearing out whatever doesn't serve and making room for planting the seeds of and beginning to step into the you you want to be, your higher self, this new identity. And if there's anything else you'd like to invite to the flame, so for healing, empowerment, support, whatever else you may need. Okay. Let me know how this mic sounds. It often picks up a lot of noises from like background noises, but it should be okay today because my grandma is not watching TV in the other room. Let's first get started with some sage and just cleanse whatever needs to be cleansed. We just had a pretty deep period of cleansing through this lunar eclipse. Allow whatever wants to fall out to fall off. And if 
anyone is experiencing your shadow self getting louder at this time of transformation, I always think of it like the villain in not saying our shadow selves are villains because we love our shadows because they illuminate any contrast and whenever we needs. But it makes me think of like a, a villain in an animated Disney or Pixar movie being defeated. And when they're defeated, you see one last big mirage of them where they get the loudest, like almost engulfed in flames or like Voldemort, right? Like <laughs> when a Horcrux is killed or destroyed, it gets the loudest and the most in your face because that's uncomfortable because a part of you, even if it's just your old belief systems, your own patterns, habits, what kept you safe or at least what you thought felt safe or what did feel safe for a time you're ready to let it go is terrified that it's you know dying off these old beliefs these old patterns so of course they're gonna get the loudest be like what are you doing what are you doing so with this white sage we're just going in and allowing anything that wants to be let go of, that wants to take its leave, really take its leave with compassion, love, and appreciation for it, for, like I said, often keeping you safe. Something I've been working on personally a lot is my relationship to the freeze response or this blanket, this cloak of numbness. And I often held a lot of resentment towards it and made myself long for it for turning me off and, and really giving me a sleep to the world and myself. But I have to have a lot of compassion for this cloak of numbness, for keeping me safe, because maybe that's all I could process for a long time. And whenever it pops up, instead of being like, oh no, I, I hate you numbness, you know, I'm really, really trying to make a conscious effort to think this safety mechanism or wanting to protect me. And only then can we hopefully let it go with love and with compassion. Oh, thank you. But actually, I'm okay. I don't need that. But thank you so much. And I love you. So. <sighs> And along with the theme of just this intense cleaning and this intense turning over of the bottom sides of the rocks to see what's there, if that resonates, it's, it's definitely a lot. And it's easy to think like, oh, everyone's doing this, you know, why, I don't want to baby myself, you know, but it's not babying yourself to acknowledge how brave you are and how brave you've been, so, just want to invite a little bit of nurturing and kindness and compassion for all the work you've been doing, even unconsciously. 
Widen the Usui Reiki symbol. Say Heki for this nurturing element, the softness, inviting grace and compassion to yourself. And also inviting in a sense of knowing that it can be scary to clear the old because then for a second it feels empty and that's not it's not empty it's just getting used to something new getting used to creating space and having to trust and have faith that whatever is meant to take form and take shape in that newly created, cleared out space, will. And just because the mechanisms, the patterns, the systems of belief, the you that you were, is being let go of, that doesn't mean you're empty. Also, I recently learned that when a caterpillar is creating its cocoon, it, trigger warning, it throws up. So it's literally purging as it's creating this cocoon around it. That's intense. <laughs> it's getting rid of all the old in order to create this cocoon. And for a moment, it feels like nothing's happening in that cocoon. Then it's just getting rid of whatever is inside of it and just trusting. And does the caterpillar worry? Does it like poke holes in its own cocoon? No, it can't. Does it like punch, you know, the walls of the cocoon before it's ready because it doesn't trust that it is turning into a butterfly? No. It just trusts the process. It trusts its current self to become its future self. It trusts its past self to inform the self it is now and every self that will be. Okay, tangent. So, let's invite in Whoever needs a little extra healing, writing it right over your heart space and allowing it to fall wherever it needs to. theme of surrender and trusting I want to a couple of goodies that I found from the earth so this is the first one isn't it nuts that this shape was just what the earth needed I found this and I forgot what desert it was. One of those things where geysers shoot out water and then you dig through the mud and you find crystals. You know those that like schools are on field trips and stuff? I went with a group of friends and it was so fun. And this is a salt crystal, so... Um, it 
it just makes me think of the ocean because of this just solid salt. using this to bring in like a really mineralization of self revitalizing you and restoring you with everything you need kind of like natural electrolytes or something <laughs> of the energy of just the energy of surrender and going with the flow and filling you up with what you need. Filling up your cup again, water. <laughs> Electrolyte water. Even more watery. I found this on the beach. Look how beautiful this is. In a tide pool. Okay, so just gaze at the center of this and just allow yourself to trust. And this is where you get to a little bit of sovereignty, agency into this next step too and start to think about who do you want to be because you have a say you are part creator your beautiful creation and you're you so no one gets to tell you who you are but you so no one let's tune into let's listen to any clues higher self might be dropping, placing, planting, <laughs> hiding like Easter eggs. It's Easter today, happy Easter. But I found two of these on the tide pool, one for me and one for my friend that I was with, and I'm actually going to her house for Easter, I think. That's good. you meditate on who you want to be, just whatever comes to mind, allow that to be, build it in. energy, ionizing, bringing strength, refreshing you, beautiful, and whatever seeds you might have planted, or whatever ideas you might start to percolate on. Nothing has to be done. You can just start to think about it. About how you want to make people feel. About what energy you want to bring when you walk into a room. What 
what you want to talk about, who you want to, to care about, you get to decide. No one else gets to decide. So, give yourself patience, do. Grant yourself patience and time. And over the next few days, weeks, maybe you'll get more ideas. And just write that down and start to dream, daydream about it. Who do you want to be? We're in the energy of spring. Of seeds and just starting to think and starting to dream 